Phoebe coined Greek phoebe, was a first-century Christian woman mentioned by the Apostle Paul in his Epistle to the Romans, verses 16-1-2. A notable woman in the church of Senchreae, she was trusted by Paul to deliver his letter to the Romans. Paul refers to her both as a deacon GK, diaconon, and as a helper or patron of many GK, prostatus. This is the only place in the New Testament where a woman is specifically referred to with these two distinctions. Paul introduces Phoebe as his emissary to the church in Rome and, because they are not acquainted with her, Paul provides them with her credentials. <inaudible> <inaudible> Background <inaudible> Paul's letter to the Romans was written in Corinth sometime between the years 56 and 58, in order to solicit support for an anticipated missionary journey to Spain. Although he had not yet visited Rome, Paul would have been familiar with the community and its circumstances through Priscilla and Aquila, who were in Corinth, having previously lived in Rome. Biblical scholars are divided as to whether chapter 16, Paul's letter of recommendation for Phoebe, was intended for Rome, with whose Christian community he was not acquainted, or with the more familiar community at Ephesus. I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a deacon of the church in Senchreae. I ask you to receive her in the Lord in a way worthy of his people and to give her any help she may need from you, for she has been the benefactor of many people, including me. The name Phoebe means pure, radiant, or bright, and was the name of a titan in Greek mythology. Some scholars believe Phoebe was responsible for delivering Paul's epistle to the Roman Christian Church. Topic. Greek terms for her titles Topic. Topic. Diaconus Topic. Apostle Paul used the Greek diaconus, diaconus to designate Phoebe as a deacon. A transliteration of the original Greek, it is the same word as used elsewhere by Paul to refer to deacons. The word deacon in Paul S. Writings sometimes refers to a Christian designated to serve with the overseers of the church, while it more often refers to servants in a general sense. In the letter to the Romans, apart from the debated case of Phoebe, it always refers to servants in the generic sense, as opposed to a church office. However, Rosalba Maines finds that Paul's use of the term deacon suggests that, like Stephen and Philip, Phoebe's ministry may have extended beyond charitable works to include preaching and evangelization. Topic. Likewise the women Topic. While some scholars believe Paul restricted the office of deacon to men, others dispute that assertion, since, when describing the qualities that the office holders called deacons, must possess, Paul wrote in 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 11 gunikas Greek for women, hosatos Greek for likewise, translated likewise the women. Quote, they, likewise, are to be worthy of respect, not malicious talkers but temperate and trustworthy in everything. Quote, the likewise indicated that the women deacons were to live according to the same standards as the men deacons see also the apostle paul's use of the term likewise in romans chapter 1 verses 27 1 cor 7 to 3 4 22 and titus chapter 2 verses 3 6 topic prostatus topic apostle paul used the greek prostatus Prostatus translated as benefactor in the Niv. The Nas New Testament Greek lexicon translates it, a female guardian, protectress, patroness, caring for the affairs of others and aiding them with her resources. The term has also been compared to Patrona. This suggests that Phoebe was a woman of means, who, among other things, contributed financial support to Paul's apostolate, and likely hosted the house church of Senchreae in her home, as well as, provide shelter and hospitality to Paul on those occasions when he stayed in the town. Topic. Veneration topic. 
The calendar of saints of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America commemorates Phoebe with Lydia of Thyatira and Dorcas on January 27, the day after the commemoration of the early male missionaries Silas, Timothy and Titus and two days after the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. The Episcopal Church does likewise. However, the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod remembers her on October 25, while the Eastern Orthodox Church and Roman Catholic Church place her feast day as September 3. Topic see also topic Romans chapter 16 topic References topic Further reading Household names, Michael Peppard, Junia, Phoebe, and Prisca in Early Christian Rome, 23 April 2018, Commonwealth topic External links topic St. Phoebe, Catholic Online Phoebe, Deacon of the Church at Sencria, Marg Mochko